soap because soap's actually very cheap, very easy and very actually yes, basically the preparation is all important because it has to be like a second, the hair has to become like a second skin so that if Frankie turn, if you turn your head sideways you don't see a join from the, foot, the skin to the hair, it should be absolutely seamless in that way and today we're going to bring the vinyl ball cap back but over the eyebrows so I've prepared the eyebrows and flattened those as well so it's a bit lengthy in preparation but it does pay off to do this because it is in the groundwork you get this right and then the rest sort of falls into place more easily well actually I could go through the motions of doing what I was doing so so this is now that this is the vinyl ball cut that's terribly cheap um, and really really good. This has been coloured. You can buy them coloured or you can buy them uncoloured. Yeah. Yeah. Shauna's coloured this herself. Basically, Shauna, if you take over, you you stuck it. We've stuck, I've just stuck a middle panel. Some people don't stick the front at all, but you, it's crucial not to glue the whole front first because from the back we'd we'll be putting it down and pulling forwards. So if this front area has been glued first and you're talking about covering the whole head with the ball cap, no wig taking over, it means you get wrinkles here. You've got excess ball cap which you can't then get rid of. So I do glue a small middle so, panel. So probably so, about, what, an inch wide there? Not even, probably about a centimetre there, okay. just about. It's just like that. And then I've come to the back. What, what, what are you using to glue it, Sean? I use prosade. So that's prosade on the skin, and then you just pull it down and glue a, a centre bit down there. Yes. And then you've glued whereabouts I've from the back? From, uh, literally from about here. Okay, so quite high up. Quite high up. I have been known to glue even higher, right. <laughs> if necessary. Why would you glue higher? If it's likely to move. Um, and some head shapes, uh, I've had a man once where I've glued, and he's actually dipped here. So if this isn't glued down, it ripples as oh. they get warm. It was so a bit. This bit's been glued, the bunch so, has been glued, yes. so now we're going to concentrate on, on the ear section. So aren't we? I've come in, I'll go bank up to where I left off, and then I'm coming right in behind the ear with the glue. Right onto the skin behind the and ear. And on the skin. Oh, okay. And then um, I come right up beside there. I don't necessarily worry about sticking that down yet. Um. Yes, so I'm just going to acetone the ear out. It's vital that you don't really cut That's ears with vinyl because vinyl will just, if they have the jagged edges at all, they just carry on splitting. So that's, so that's the only thing you have to remember with vinyl. It's different crucial, from plastic and it's different very, from latex. You can't cut it. Right. You cannot really cut it. The only place we really cut is round the bottom when, because obviously they are one fits all. So sometimes they can be very, very big and you have to take some off the back. But on the whole, we acetone everywhere. Unfortunately, it has got to be acetone. Uh, there's no other spirit. IPA will, isopropyl alcohol won't dissolve it. So it is acetone. But um, it doesn't take much to do it. Uh, no, I, I, good. This, is quite, this, is, this is probably the, the most difficult part of putting this it on. Is. Because you have to be a bit careful around the ear. So, um, so I'm just pulling this slightly forward to give me an idea where I want the acetone to start and I'm going to start lower on the ear because obviously the danger is if you start too high our ear attached is lower it's just obviously the top part that we see so I need to go smaller than the actual ear size and I just allow the acetone to eat through And if everybody remembers from last time, this is a, this is a, a vinyl ball cut that's going to actually go into this. The edge is going to be bled away into the actual eye socket. Um, which Shauna did that originally because there was a program on, on TV where the lady was supposed to have alopecia, so she had to lose her eyebrows as well. But there is an advantage in that you've got no edge to contend with up here because your edge is lost, like you would with prosthetics, your edge is lost in the eye socket. And would be great if you've got any form of prosthetic going on. However, obviously, you have no eyelash, eyebrows you have left. No eyebrows, so you <laughs> so may have to put your general, eyebrows on. generally, I would end these uh, slightly, just about a millimetre above the actual hairs of the eyebrow, because no one, generally speaking, looks for a, a, a ball yeah, cap line yeah. down there. They look for the middle of the forehead or higher up. Yeah. So, because these are quite fine, if you glue them completely, it will move with the artist but no one looks for a join down there.
generally speaking, they don't. It's church, because when we learned, we were taught, we finished it always yes. just about here, which is probably the worst place to have a difference between skin and plastic. Absolutely. The danger with coming near the hairline, which I have done, if somebody you really sweats and uses their forehead, the danger there is that it might eek and then you have the hair showing. So further down is is better, really. I think that's a really good point about the eye. The eye doesn't look for it down there either, actually. No. I think you sort of look for it around there. And very conveniently, when you're not bringing it down over the eyebrow and you're just ending it sort of around here, it does have a peak. There's a, yeah, there's, and the peak is yeah. very good to even bring down like that because, again, no one looks for a yes. join near the nose yeah. area. You mean there's an actual peak in there? There is a peak yeah. at the I beginning of the... Um, you can just see. see. There's a little... There is an actual peak there. Which is, it's quite a good sort of marker. It's quite a good marker for central, centralising your ball cap as it well. Is, yeah. So I'm now just bringing the ear through so that it sits round the ear and sits in the back. and I'm really pushing it forwards. I've got too much round the ear still, so I now can acetone a bit more to, so it lies around Frankie's ear without distorting it. Also, I tend to put, uh, which I haven't done, but I will, is get some talc um, on a powder puff or my fingers, because if the glue eeks out onto the cap or around, you, you start sticking to it. And actually, if you do this, you can actually push in quite happily oh, without yeah. it um, sticking. Um, at this stage, the, I put the, ball, the ball cap is on and I've mainly gone round and stuck. Everybody's completely with sticking. I'm just actually just finishing off acetoning very carefully round the fine, the front edge here, uh, just the last little bit. And then I will be putting some prosade just over the, 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 the ball cap to give it a little bit of texture and also for the uh, Pax paint to stay better and to camouflage the edge slightly. Considering the price of these vinyl caps, the edging is really quite fine or can be got to be quite fine, but I'm just going to go over the actual edge with a little bit of prosade once I've done this. Just getting off the last little bits here. So it's just a matter now of covering the uh, front edge here, which I've taken down over Frankie's eyebrows. So keeping the eye, don't open your eyes, Frankie. Obviously, the, because the prosade would uh, stick to the, the eyelids, but I'm just giving a little bit of texture, A, to help camouflage the actual edge, but it all e equally to give it um, a, a, a something for the Pax paint that I put on next to adhere to and not peel off, really. And then I will just finish off with some colouring and uh, using Illustrator really to give the final sort of colouring to the ball cap. It's probably slightly muddled there. So it's just a matter of coming up around the, the edge and slightly around the back here where the ball cap's in, tucked in behind the ear but just on this part. But this is reliant on the fact that on w most women if you have a, a roll neck or a scarf coming round it's much better to have the hair lying flat and being under the clothing rather than trying to wrap around. But it's so hard to sort of get the hair flat, even at this stage when hair is very thick. But once you start wrapping hair, it becomes more problematic. And generally speaking, with something as, as fine as a vinyl, we might be tempted to put two on, one that goes close to the hairline and then the other one that comes right down. And obviously this one actually comes right into the eyelids and across the nose around there. I say obviously, but hopefully not too obviously. <laughs> So that we're, we're back now with Shauna and she's just come into the last few bits of, um, of the colouring up 
Um, it's quite hard to see in this light. Basically, uh, we've gone with a, a, a pack over the initial ball cap to help colour it. And then a little bit of fullness, a little bit of matte pro makeup, and then illustrator. And I'm sort of clicking. Uh, but I keep getting Frankie to hold the mirror up just so that I can get a better idea of the tone, really. Here. Oh, obviously, because when the sun comes out, it changes its way. Also, just to make sure, there are areas with this vinyl that if you were doing it for uh, women, you might choose to use two ball caps. One actually goes right nearer to the hairline, and then one right down. Just turn the paper because we have to be careful, obviously, of lines through where, obviously, the hair might come through. But obviously, veins could be. Yeah, or, you could always paint a vein there. Or, you, if you in had a... fact, I feel what I have done before now is feel more successful more with Cabasil and uh, Closet as a, as a bondo and actually fill out the creases. What, on the hair? Yes. Oh, right. Yes. So you can actually paste it over so that it, it actually fills in any wrinkles. <laughs> but it can be just a matter of getting a bit more makeup on it as well. That's getting back to what Christian was saying about you put different colours in, Absolutely. flicking on your different colours. Uh, well, I flicked with this almost a mauvey colour, uh, green, yellow, red. <laughs> Yes, just a whole mix match of different tones really to get a much more um, speckled effect, really more natural. Frankie doesn't actually have many freckles, but freckles are really useful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, obviously they blend round um, and uh, it can camouflage a lot of things once you get, you know, endoscopes or frickling, it's, it's ideal. I could fake it and actually come on Frankie as well, but basically I haven't put any makeup on Frankie's from uh, here. Down. There is no makeup on Frankie, it's just matching the ball cap into her own skin tone. And I hope people appreciate how difficult that is because I, for one, would definitely put makeup on because I'd be taking the easier option. So I think to be able to do that is quite an achievement. It's, a sm it's, it's painting, but it's a very good learning curve for people to, because if you can do that, then obviously everything else can be then coloured in one. And then it's often easier to airbrush your makeup over this. And actually apply yeah, 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 yeah. So, so um, I'm just try trying to just tone in here a little bit more. I mean, and, and the, the other thing, this is this has gone right down into the um, eye socket. Yes, Frank, if you just close. Yeah, yeah. So that needs just a little bit more. I come in with a brush. There's a few little bits there that I but, might take off again. But yeah, but you whole, won't see it. No. That's come down right in over the eyebrows, yes. So if, if they have to do something with chemotherapy, obviously they yeah. have. Yeah. You can't get rid of eyelashes. <laughs> no, can't get rid of them unless you cut them off. No, absolutely. So I'm afraid Frankie has been sitting here a while. Yes, we're going to get Frank. Frank we're gonna get some, I'll get some food organised. Thank you very much, Frankie.